Hello guys, it's me, Teacher Anne, your Mathematics 7 teacher for the whole quarter 2. Our topic for today is all about the SPF or the Special Product Formula. But before we're going to proceed, let us know first the learning competency for this topic. Again, our topic is all about the SPF or the Special Product Formula. So there are several kinds of Special Product Formula, but we were going to discuss the lesson one, which is all about solving products of two binomials. So in solving or in multiplying the two binomials, let us always remember the FOIL method. What is the FOIL method? F stands for first term, O stands for the outer term, I stands for the inner term, and lastly, letter L stands for the last term. Example, the binomial which is x plus 2 times x minus 4. So applying the first term, we have our first term is x, be multiplied to x, this one and this one. Another one, the outer term, which is x. Another outer, that one is negative 4. Take note, negative 4 because this is negative. Next, the inner term, which is 2. Be multiplied to another inner, which is x. And lastly, L, which is 2, be multiplied to another last term, which is negative 4. Okay, so let us solve. x times x is equal to x squared. Next, x times negative 4 is equal to negative 4x. Next, 2 times x is equal to 2x. Next, 2 times negative 4 is equal to negative 8. Okay, and then we're going to combine or we're going to arrange the term according to the highest exponent or the highest degree. So we have first is the x squared. Next, the negative 4x. Then, positive 2x then negative 8. So take note, we are not yet done because we still have similar terms. We have negative 4x and positive 2x. We are going to combine them. So we have x squared, negative 4x plus positive 2x is equal to negative 2x. Then bring down negative 8. So since they are all unique, there's no similar term. So therefore, this is the final answer. So as easy as that. Aww. Okay, so let's move to example number 2. We have 2a minus 1 be multiplied to another binomial which is a minus 3 okay so we're going to use the fall method so first term we have 2a times a so 2a times a is equal to 2a squared so we have 2 a squared. Then uh, O, which is the outer term, outer term we have 2a and negative 3a. 
So we have 2a times negative 3 is equal to negative 6a. Why is it? Because this is positive and this is negative. If you are going to multiply a different sign, the result is negative. So that's why this is negative 6. Why is it 6? Because 3 times 2 is equal to 6. There is a variable a, so a. Okay, so next we have the inner term. We have negative 1 and a. So we have negative 1 times a. Again, they have different signs, so therefore the result is negative. Negative 1. 1 or negative 1a or just equal to negative a. Anyway, they are just the same. So we have lastly negative 3, I mean negative 1 times negative 3. So as you can see, they have the same sign negative 1 and negative 3. So negative times negative is equal to positive so therefore this is positive 1 times 3 is equal to 3 so positive 3 so take note we are not yet done because there is a similar term or like term so we can just simplify or we can still simplify negative 6a and negative a so by adding them in combining them, we are just going to add since they have the same sign. They are both negative. So by adding, just simply add the uh, rules of addition of integers. So by simply adding their common sign, which is negative. So just simply copy the first term because there are no a squared here. So just copy to a squared and then put negative because the result is or the common sign is negative then by adding so 6 plus 1 is equal to 7 and just copy the variable so we have variable a and then there is no other constant term so just simply uh, copy the constant term which is 3 so, therefore, the result for this 2a min uh, minus 1 times the quantity a minus 3 is equal to 2a squared minus 7a plus 3. Okay? So, we were going to use the other method, the, the previous method we used. Okay? So, the first term we have... 2a times a equals 2a times a is just simply 2a squared. No? So next is o, which is the outer term. We have 2a times another outer, which is negative 3 equals uh, 2 times negative 3, again, they have different signs, so we have negative. 3 times 2 is 6, so we have negative 6a. Next, we have the inner term. We have a negative 1 being multiplied to another inner term, which is a. So again, they have a different sign, so therefore the result is negative. 1 times 1 or one, ta uh, 1 times 1 is 1 or just simply and, and then the variable, so just simply write the variable or it is just also equal to negative 1a. Then lastly, the last term we have uh, the negative 1 being multiplied to negative 3 equals they have the same sign so therefore the result is positive then 1 times 3 is equal to 3 so collect similar terms or combining them all so we have the 
2a minus 1, quantity 2a minus 1 times the quantity, quantity a minus 3, we have 2a squared, copy negative 6a, and then negative a, and then positive 3. So we have uh, common terms, I mean the like terms. So we can simplify this one, negative 6a and negative a is just equal to negative 7a. So just copy 2a squared because no other terms which has a variable and exponent a squared. So just copy and then simplifying them. So we have negative 7a and then there's no other constant term. So just simply copy positive 3. So therefore, this is now our final answer. So as you can see, they are just the same. So therefore, if you're going to use this method or this method, so they are just the same. Okay, diba? So in solving, if you're going to solve a product of two binomials, you can uh, solve like this or like this. You can still arrive at the same answer. So, thank you. That's all for today. Our next topic is still all about the special product formula, but in lesson 2, which is all about the square of a binomial. Stay tuned!